Hi, my name is Rose Smith and I'm here to do your horoscopes for September, Captivating Cancer. And what a big wow of a month we've got coming up for you. There's a lot of things happening. The first thing that you should be aware of is Mercury Retrograde, our old friend and buddy who likes to muck up all our communications. So Mercury went retrograde going backwards uh, towards the end of August and it'll be in there for three weeks in that mode uh, until the 22nd. The 23rd Mercury turns direct and then things start to improve. So for what that means for you is of course uh, while Mercury is retrograde there's problems often to do with communication. So that could be signing contracts, that could be you know just your normal everyday type um, communications, phone calls, technology, internet goes down, oh bliss, uh, all those sorts of things happen quite often when Mercury is retrograde. So just keep that in mind. Uh, best to put off any legal issues if you can uh, or signing of important papers until after the 23rd of September. Uh, there's also two eclipses in September. Uh, and the first one is on the first of the month, uh, that is the lunar eclipse, and then on the 16th of the month is the solar eclipse. Now, eclipses are very impactful. They make your normal everyday uh, life jump out in stark relief. Uh, anything that's not working properly, it's going to come up and show you right in your face, hey, this is an issue, you've got to deal with it. So what could happen, you might find that beginning of the month you're feeling uncertain and all these things are, you know, sort of going round and round in your head. Uh, and then about the 16th when the second one hits, uh, you might start to feel better and there's a way through. You can see clearly what you have to do and then you've got a plan and action steps that you can take to resolve the situation. Uh, Jupiter is also uh, changing signs, moving into Libra. Uh, and... Um, what you have is an eclipse in your third house. So the third house is all about uh, learning, teaching, information, uh, networking with other people, communications and technology. So you know I was just saying about the internet a few minutes ago? Just would be, would be wise just to check that all of your uh, communications and internet uh, is working properly, uh, that you've got backups because that could be a real problem uh, for you. Uh, there's a lot of energy here, uh, Mercury, Jupiter conjuncting Mercury, a lot of communication. So you've got kind of like a double whammy in the sense you've got the Mercury retrograde on one point and then you've got this on the other side. So there's energy for communications, but then you could find you being blocked. So I would have a backup plan. There's a lot of learning. Some of you may think of doing a course. You might be looking at starting next year, but you're actually doing the planning right now, trying to decide what you're going to do, which is really exciting, trying to work out which courses you should be doing, that sort of thing. Don't overload yourself, though. Uh, just take it step by step and be patient with yourself. But this is an excellent time to put your plans into action and, and to really you know start moving forward. There's energy here for travelling or overseas connections. So you might find, uh, you know, people from other countries coming into your life that you don't normally deal with. Um, there's all sorts of um, energy from distance, from afar, exotic sort of uh, feeling around it. Uh, it's a great uh, time for spending money, uh, especially around beautifying your home. Uh, there's energy for beautiful things. Uh, you might spend, you have to be careful on this point, you might spend too much. Uh, things might be expensive and you just go a little bit overboard. So just try and hold yourself back. I know luxury is lo lovely, uh, but you know, you want to make sure that your taste is in relationship and in proportion to your bank balance. Uh, there's excellent time uh, during September, the middle of September, to talk about relationships. There's, you have a clarity and an openness about you that when you relate to other people, people immediately feel at ease and they will relate uh, correspondingly back with you. So communication comes very easily. It's also a time of uh, creativity. Uh, the only one point you need to be careful of is compulsive behaviour coming up. Um, 
you might have had an addiction to chocolate for example and you haven't been eating chocolates and then all of a sudden up it comes and then you've eaten a whole box full you know lay low with the Monte Carlos I always say uh, extremes in your desires you know the the balance path the middle path is always the better way to go so it's not that you can't have a Monte Carlo you can enjoy a cup of tea and a Monte Carlo but just have one try and do it in moderation the 24th of September, you've got Venus in the 5th house. Now, the 5th house is all about your creativity and also romance. So that's a really lovely uh, energy. You might find that you're meeting someone special around the 24th of the month uh, because you've got that positive energy around you. Um, you also have a lot of energy for strength and commitment uh, to do with work and projects. Um, you have an unusual ability this month in September to make your influence be felt with other people. People won't forget you easily, let's say that. You meet somebody and they'll remember you. You've got a lot of energy for independent action, carrying out projects. You might have been stuck on something for a while thinking, I must do that, I must do You know how we procrastinate, we all do it, and think, oh, yeah, 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 I'll get there, and, we, and you know, we put it off. You'll be finishing some projects in September that might have been hanging around for a fair while. Uh, one thing uh, in the second week of September you need to be careful of, be scrupulous with the truth. Uh, if it's not you, it's someone around you and they're telling a few white fibs um, and it's not good. So just be aware, not all is as it seems um, when people are telling you things. But you know, you're not you're not silly. You'll you'll see through when people are telling you something that's not right. You'll know. Just check yourself, see how your body feels, and you'll be able to discern what's going on. So I wouldn't worry about it at all. Um, relationships, uh, you know, around the middle of the month, you know, there's some work relationships that might be a bit iffy. Uh, there's a bit of stress, a bit of tenseness in the office or around your workplace, um, but that's just a passing thing, I wouldn't worry about that too much. Um, moving on from that, there's some luck, some really good luck uh, in your love life, uh, second, third week of uh, September. Uh, you know, you're feeling the love of the universe, you're feeling the love of yourself and that's coming out and people are seeing that in your eyes and your face. So it's actually a great time, you know, to meet somebody. You might find that someone special comes into your life around that time. At the very least, there's lots of social activity and gallivanting around out with friends and that sort of thing. A high level of communication and refinement. Uh, you might be attracted to luxury type items. Um, there's talk of love, there's talk of culture and art and all the beautiful things in the world. Uh, you'll be attracting people with like minds that share the same interests or similar interests to you, which is fantastic. Uh, and so you finish off the end of September on a, on a high note, which is wonderful. Uh, if you have any questions or you're not sure during the month on how to handle something, please give us a call at AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. We're there 24-7 and uh, we've got the answers that you might be looking for. So give us a call and uh, we'd love to hear from you. Have a beautiful month and I'll look forward to doing your October horoscopes. Thank you. Bye.